My name is Tony Gillam, uh, team owner of Team Hard Racing, and we're here at Croft Race Circuit for our 2018 VW Cup Racing Scholarship Program. Your own route into motorsport was interesting, Tony. Tell me a bit about that. So racing for me started at a very, very young age. From the age of four years old, we started um, BMX racing. And uh, there's some guys still close with the team today who we work with that we've, we've met and enjoyed a journey for, for a number of years. Um, very competitive from the age of four to 11. Um, we had s some success there, which we was very pleased with, British, European and, and world champion. So it's a great achievement at, at an early age. And that is where the competitive edge really begun for me in terms of racing. Um, then it went on a very, very different route, all through various different disciplines of sport, but ultimately it's all, all the same thing, sort of con controlled aggression and passion, drive, determination and the, and the will to, to race and be competitive. And then 1999 I entered a scholarship program, which was the Elf Fast Track Scholarship at Silverstone, and we, we got to the, to the final and it went in straight into a race contract and having never sat in a race car before, it whetted my appetite to get involved more and more in, into the car, car industry. Um, so then we, we went on a few, i say a few other competitions, Ultra Express, and we had a, like a Fun Cup debut and things like that. And um, really it sort of took a bit of a sideways step really, I never, could never afford to go racing, racing properly until my first child, Tommy, was born in 2005 and I thought it was now or never. So we entered the Toyota MR2 Championship, which was, at the time, it was billed as cheap as chips racing. So what started out as a, I'll get a car for a bit of fun, maybe a few track days, the odd race, turned into race weekend number one. We had a pole, fastest lap, and a race win. I thought, let's do one more, and then again, and again, and again. So it, it turned into a full season. We won the championship in the first season, and then naturally we wanted to progress and being competitive I wanted to move up and that was 2006 was my first foray into the to the VW Cup so some success we finished fourth in the first year and picked up a bit of damage at the start of the season really put us on the back foot and then towards the second half of the season we scored more points than anybody else so that led to a championship campaign in 2007 which culminated as winning the VW Cup and um, that was a great achievement for us, and we, we then moved on to Porsche. But just talking more about the VW Cup, it was it was ten years since I won the championship. We came back last year with Bobby Thompson, who won the VW Cup, ten year anniversary. Now he's in a touring car with us, so that just gives a a little bit of a a story about the VW Cup naturally. But on top of that is the scholarship program that we're doing now which is to give people the opportunity and it's a massive, massive prize. In terms of, of people who have inspired you through the years in motorsport, who, who stands out? I mean, I, I didn't get into racing until an older age in terms of, of car racing, but memorable times, Nigel Mansell, um, Williams F1 car, but re really stand out, which is, for me, I think everybody's seen it since motorsport, was his... Touring car, race, at Donington, in the wet, in the Mondeo, causing havoc. So that, that, really, that really stood out. And uh, touring car was, was, for me, where I always wanted to, to get to. Um, we couldn't afford touring car initially. So 2008, 9 and 10, following the VW Cup, we went to compete in the Porsche Carrera Cup, GB. So great car, amazing, very, very quick car, fastest single mate championship in the, in the UK. Great time, great, a great three years in the championship. Just missed out on the, on the championship in that Pro-Am category, which was frustrating. Um, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was a very good time for us. And then 2011, we signed with Triple Eight and we got a, got a break in touring car, which started off great at media day, first half of the season. But the, the budgets were just too high. We just really could not sort of compete with, with the big guys and really not, not have the right amount of tyres or the right brakes or anything, you're completely on the back foot and at that level you need to have everything to be, to be competitive. So we did, we come back again in 2012 with our own team in a Civic and we, uh, we had an independent win and a, and a podium so we had some decent success but first half of the season actually finished here at Croft as the last time I raced the Civic and we didn't have the budget for the second half of the season. So then we had some, some drivers that bring budget to the team to come and drive the car. And uh, yeah, and then we've, we've been sort of in and around touring cars ever since. 
So the journey from, from starting out in motorsports now being a team boss, what does being a team boss feel like, but what does it entail? Where we are now, we're at a very sort of proud point. It's very much a, a small family team, but are now arguably one of the biggest teams in the UK in terms of the following that we have, um, the number of contacts that we've got, the number of cars that we run, and drivers that we work with. It's for me, it's a, we're a very different concept to most teams. Some people don't quite understand how we operate or why we're growing so fast and what we're doing, but. It's really great to engage with people and explain the concept behind it. Then people really start to get a, to join in our passion and our love of, of the sport. And for me, it's uh, at this point in my career, I've not raced properly for since 2010 is my last full season. So at this particular time, I could either have a very healthy budget myself to go racing, or I can support a number of drivers that wouldn't be racing without our support. So, so for me, I'm getting a lot of satisfaction from helping these guys, bringing them into racing, because for me, there's not enough funding to go around. There's not enough contacts and people working together to generate something that's, that's special and gets people, gets bums in seats, but really gives talent the opportunity. So there's a number of drivers that I know, that everybody knows, that amazing drivers can't afford to go racing. So we are trying to, to reinvent motorsport where we can and as reach as, as far out as possible to, to engage with these people and bring talent through, which is what this scholarship is all about. But I'd say up to 90% of my drivers, maybe all of our drivers, wouldn't be racing without the support of what Team Hard can, can bring them from what we can put together as a, a collective package rather than a driver just left on his own devices. 2018 season about to start, new car about to be tested, four drivers on the grid. What are your, your aims and your goals for this year? Genuinely, we're, we're quietly confident about this year. We've made some massive improvements and upgrades over, over the winter period. The car is half an hour from the track. It's going to be unloaded tonight, prepped, ready, and it'll be on circuit for the first time tomorrow. So we've got some great engineers on board with us this year, which is testament to the team and where it's, where it's getting towards. We have the confidence in these engineers to come on board and work with us. So... We would, I would be disappointed if we don't see silverware at some point this year. However that comes, whether it's a Jack Sears win or an independent win or an overall podium or something, we've got four amazing drivers, we've got a great engineering team, we've got, for me, arguably the best overall package of any car on the grid. And that includes the manufacturer of cars. We are really confident in what we're producing. Very exciting times. So for a small family independent team to now bring to the touring cars what we believe to be a very competitive package is testament to everybody involved and there's, there's a lot of people involved now and I definitely couldn't do it without the strong network around us and that is family, friends and people that have been with us for, for a few years now that have really been part of the journey that put their faith in me when we essentially started again just, just four years ago with, with one car and sort of stuck with it. And we've had a couple of people that have gone away and come back, and no doubt there'll be other people that still choose, choose to go. For me, anybody that decides to, to go away from what we're, what we're building at this point will be making a mistake, but that's, that's just my opinion. Everybody's got their own life to live and their own direction they want to go in. But for me, we have a very good chance at mixing it towards the front of the grid this year. So we're there to ruffle some feathers, to enjoy the experience, give our four drivers the best package, we believe, for them to go and be racing against the likes of Honda and Subaru and all these, these manufactured teams, as well as the lead independence teams. So, yeah, let's see how it unfolds.